All right, so this is the second video uh, on the coffered ceiling. And I just thought I'd show you what this uh, ceiling detail here looks like. This is the one I put in our uh, bathroom on the main level. And it's basically just a box beam with a couple pieces of crown molding on it. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, started with a piece of three quarter uh, MDF on the ceiling screwed to the joists, a um, couple pieces of MDF. Um, on the sides and the bottom and this particular uh, this particular look on a nine foot ceiling is in my opinion pretty good um, the the sides of the box I think are uh, four uh, four and a half inches and then the middle part is three inches and then again on this side you know a four four and a half inch piece that's uh, three and a half inch crown up there so that's what it looks like um, in the bathroom and um, we've got this this is my first initial sketch right here I'm not marketing for Beecham and Company Realtors this is just some paper that I had laying around but uh, <clears throat> first I, I sketched out the room and rough approximations of how uh, it was laid out, kind of looked at what I wanted to do with it, and um, thought instead of just making a grid pattern running left to right and making the cross, uh, what I would do is put this on a diagonal in, in the room, uh, just kind of make it look a little bit different. And then there's basically the sketch of what our dimensions are going to look like um, for our crown. So um, these dimensions, the seven inches and three and a half inches, I think that's going to look good in this room that we're putting it in in our office. But uh, I'm going to mock it up before I um, cut everything. I'll cut a couple small pieces um, and nail it together and put it up there in about a foot long section just to see exactly what it's going to look like on the profile like that. Then after I did that, I went ahead and um, scaled everything out. Right there is the room uh, scaled out. That's quarter inch, um, quarter inch graph paper. So you can see there's a bunch of white out on the inside of here. And that was because I initially thought that I was going to make this box, this diagonal box. Um, I guess you'd call it a diamond. But I originally thought that I was going to make that about uh, four feet uh, square and as it turned out um, when I started laying it out on the floor four feet was not even close to being big enough for the inside of that room and uh, when you see it scaled out that actually looks just about right now I did have a couple little issues with aligning this uh, in the room itself because let's carry this in here sorry about the poor video quality here but new with this so here is the paper here's this the scaled paper right there in the room we have <clears throat> we have the ceiling fan in in the office and as you can see through that transom light that is pretty much dead centered in that door opening which makes it centered in the room itself but short of moving the ceiling fan over this way uh, which we didn't want to necessarily do the only other option was to use this scale and you can see I have here on the, the drawing this this is uh, the French doors angled in this way and then over here are a couple of our windows this is the bump out and then there's that little, that's a plumbing chase for the bathroom upstairs. So what we have to do is we're going to move, we're going to move the, the whole center line of, of, the, uh, of the ceiling uh, this way, just, or I'm sorry, this way, just a touch. I think it ends up being about four inches, I think there. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, my drawing says shift three inches 
So I think that's what we're going to do is we're just going to bump everything over this way a little bit. So that's it for this part of the video. I'm going to start laying it out on the floor.